Good morning, Stafford High School. It's January 29th, 21, and it is Friday. We made it through the week. Uh, to remember today's spirit day, so hopefully you, we have our spirit gear on, so hopefully you do too. Um, so I'm, I'm going to bring it over to uh, Mr. Diggs, and he's going to start our morning announcements. Good morning, Stafford Indian Tribe. It is so good. I mean, you'll see us. I can't see you, but, you know, if you were in person, it's good to see you. Uh, but happy Friday, and it is definitely a spirit day here at Stafford High School, and I hope that you are, are representing our high school with your spirit gear throughout the day. Uh, the word of the month is courage, and we're looking forward to an amazing day uh, here at Stafford High School. As a reminder, the tribe, what it stands for is the T is for trust, the R is for respect, the I is for integrity, the B is for betterment, and the E is for effort. And speaking of effort, there's some incredible students that I want to recognize. I apologize up front if I mispronounce your name, but just congratulations on showing an amazing amount of effort in your classes. That is William Lloyd, Nicholas Luna, Ian McDonald, Richard Owens, Brian Pipkins, and Caden Stollard. Again, congratulations and keep up the great effort as we start semester two. All right, a few announcements for me. We have in active sports and activities, we have a uh, track tomorrow at North Stafford Swim District uh, this evening. Um, basketball tonight, uh, those teams are doing pretty good. Um, hopefully our swim team, uh, we'll see how they do in the districts tonight. I know they're going to be a top contender. Basketball, both teams are doing well. Our girls are on the way to a district title, so hopefully they keep moving in the right direction. Um, and then our track team is always good. So uh, all those teams are doing fantastic. Um, also, in the sports world, I'd like to recognize Colton Dunmeyer. He's a senior, one of our seniors recognized last night in senior night. Um, unfortunately, our, our wrestling team lost 42-22. However, um, Colton won his match last night. He's had a good wrestling uh, career here. And as a senior, we thank him for his dedication. It's been a tough year, but um, we appreciate his efforts in representing our Stafford High School uh, community. Also, just want to recognize uh, Miss Range's class yesterday. Um, uh, Mr. Diggs and I joined that class. Um, it was amazing. And uh, the reason we joined is uh, they had some students that are really uh, looking forward to being part of our, not only our school community and uh, supporting, but after high school, being a part of, it could be um, as an EMT or something of that nature, uh, to help others. And they had some guest speakers from the Sheriff's Department yesterday. So um, it's real good when we get, we've had this in a couple classes this year. They've been able to attend when we can attend. So I appreciate the efforts of Miss Reigns and getting folks um, to change some things around a little bit, engaging students and getting some guest speakers in her class. So I appreciate her efforts and all the students in her class. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations on passing that test. Yes. Um, so we had uh, rising freshman orientation last night virtually it's a lot different um you know so we we answered questions for about an hour and a half the administrators did our best our counseling department working hard as usual um so we had a lot of things available for a rising freshman to see if you still want to see it it's on our school website check out our home page under important announcements you'll be able to see the pre-recorded video along with our sports and activities that we have here uh, at the trial yeah uh, Monday is you're you're off. Uh, Monday is uh, teachers are off as well. They're working uh, work day. Um, we're expecting some bad weather this weekend. If you're a snow fanatic, flush those ice cubes down the toilet. Wear your pajamas inside out. Uh, this may be a significant event. So, so we haven't had that in a long time. Um, considering the situation we're in, please pay attention to your emails um, as. You know, Monday you're off. However, we have to, uh, you know, we we'll have to wait for the superintendent to give us information on how um, the rest of the week's going to look. And uh, so you have to really look, check your email. I know the county sends out robocalls and things like that. So just please understand that and check the county website uh, frequently if we do get bad weather. Now, some, sometimes news people are very wrong and we get nothing. But if we do get something, just be just um, be proactive and be checking. And be safe out there if there is something that comes down. Also, just remember, spring term starts on February 2nd. 
uh, that'll start the spring term classes year long. So don't change, uh, but your new classes will be starting on February 2nd. And also with that, Mr. Diggs, that new time schedule starts as well. Oh, it does. It does. And we're going to send out the lunch schedule here shortly on uh, the next day or so to you. So you know what lunch you have. Just as a reminder, look at always your block two class to figure out what lunch you'll have. I'll explain more about that in a separate notification to you and your parents. But remember, lunch is now connected to block two. Yeah. So we understand the first week of a change like this. We're going to have some grace. Uh, your teachers will too, but just be proactive. Uh, ask questions. Make sure you check your schedules and just look at uh, Canvas. Make sure you have your new, uh, you know, new courses loaded in there and get those Google Meet codes. Yeah, so very important as we navigate things that we haven't done before. Now we're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now take a, a moment. To think about uh, this entire week. And think about, um, as I say always, um, you know, did you get better this week? Um, it, academically, did you get better? Um, socially, if you're having problems, having issues, are you talking with folks at home? Are you talking with, accounts, or with our counselors? Are you talking to your friends? Are you get, look, get, trying to get help? Um, so, you know, continue to do those things and continue to reach out for support. Um, a lot of times, many people don't say anything or families don't say anything until we're in, in this to 10, 20 weeks in the school year. Um, so there's nothing, you know, it's just, it's not too late, but if we had known earlier, it'd been very helpful. So make sure you continue to be proactive. It's important um, as teachers, educators, parents, families, students, that we're working together and we're proactive. Uh, have a great Friday. And, and we miss you. We do. And get some rest. Take care.